I'll be replacing the valve cover gasket on this 1995 Toyota Camry. Remove the negative cable from the battery. The car is taken apart because we're doing the timing belt and a lot of work on this car. Our electrical bundle here is already off. Yours will look like it's right up next to the side of this valve cover. To remove it, on the upper timing belt cover, there's two bolts, one and two, right there at the top. You just loosen those, you don't have to remove them, loosen them and pull this up out of the way. I've marked the spark plug wires, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna remove those now. To loosen the spark plug wires, grab it by the base of the boot, not by the wire. You can damage the wire. So grab it by the base like this, give it a little twist, and it comes right out. Once you have the spark plug wires loosened, you can remove them from their keepers here, the little holders they have, which makes it easier to just get them out of the way. I take the wires, put them back over there to get them out of the way with their boots because I have to remove two hoses now, this one and that one. I'm using a pair of side cutters. Just ease that clamp back. If the hose won't come off, take a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and walk it off by just prying back and forth. This hose goes to the PCB valve. I'm going to take off this holder for the wires, spark plug wires, just to get it out of the way. I don't want to damage it when I lay this valve cover down. I'm going to use a 30 millimeter. This is, just happens to be an impact socket. Any 30 millimeter socket will do to remove the nuts on the valve cover. What they look like. You have these little nifty grommets. I'm just lifting them with a small screwdriver. They go in this position. Y'all be careful not to get anything down where the spark plugs are located. I'm going to remove this bracket just to get it out of the way. So if I need to loosen the valve cover by hitting it at the corner with a mallet, I can do that. It's so a 14 millimeter, it's the lower bolt. Y'all, when you take the nuts and the grommets off, or the seals underneath here, you should replace those if you're replacing the valve cover gasket. But as to the nuts, keep them in order. I'm gonna remove the bolt out of this hook. It's 14 millimeter because I have to repair this wire a bit. It's not necessary, but it does get it out of the way, so it makes it easier to get to the valve cover. She does not want to come off with just lifting her off. So give her a little tap tap. All right y'all, she don't want to give way hitting her with the mallet. So I've taken a long flat screwdriver, put some tape on her to protect that metal, that aluminum. I'm going to wedge it right here, not into it, right to the side. And she want to give way. There you go. Make sure you're careful of your PCV valve and the hose on it. Those are expensive hoses. This car is up on jacks. If the car is down, not on jacks, it's a lot easier to do this. So I have to be careful how I remove it. I put some paper towels in here so nothing gets down where the spark plugs are located. Now I'm going to clean around the mating surfaces, this one and this. I'm going to use denatured alcohol to clean along here the mating surface and make sure all the oil residue is off. And I'll be taking that off with a razor, sideways like this, y'all. You don't want to gouge this aluminum or this mating surface. Denatured alcohol. You can buy this at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store. It's great stuff to have on hand if you DIY or work on cars. Denatured alcohol has a very high flash point, meaning it dries very quickly. And when you're cleaning this, just swipe away 
from the interior. You want to swipe away to the outside of the exterior of this. Just keep your little hands out of the way so you don't hurt yourself, cut yourself. Flat razor blade, move along slowly, get it all as clean as you can. So there'll be eight points, one, two, three, and one behind the camshaft bearing cap. There's four here and four on the opposing side. Y'all, the razor only gets you so far. The best tool I've found to remove this RTV sealant is a dental tool. I get them from my dentist. I'm gonna show you the areas I cleaned it's difficult to get beyond that camshaft bearing cap. So I'll show you right here. That's how clean the surface should be. Same over here on this side. This is very clean. I took the denatured alcohol with paper towels, went around it several times, made sure all of the oil residue is off. And now I'm going to clean the cover, the valve cover. I'm protecting the PCV valve with a four by four. You don't want to damage that. Now I'm just taking a paper towel with denatured alcohol on it, cleaning in the grooves. Now carefully place, starting at the half moons here for the uh, camshaft bearing caps. Make sure the gasket's firmly seated. Now it's time to put the valve cover on the car. All right, y'all, this is what I'm going to use as a sealant. It's Permatex Ultra Black. It's oil resistant and high temp. Toyota manual calls for putting it there, 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 behind, and the same over here. There, 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 and behind this bearing cap. All right, y'all, that's how much RTV or sealant we put on right there. We're putting on the grommets now. Putting on the nuts now. The torque on the nuts is 17 foot pounds. I'm going to start out at, five, at seven foot pounds, then I'm going to go up to 12 and then 17. So I'm starting with two, then I'll do three, then one, and four. Two, three, one, four. You tighten from the inside out. Tighten them evenly. Click, 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 click. Okay, they're all to seven foot pounds. Now I'm going to up it to 12. All right, y'all, now torquing to 12. Click, click. Click, click. Now twerking to 17 foot pounds. Seventeen. 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 Just gonna double check. All right, y'all, she's torqued to 17 foot-pounds. First, I started off with seven foot-pounds, then 12, then 17. You tighten with the nuts in this sequence. Two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four. You just keep going. Now, I'll tell y'all, these nuts on this valve cover are notorious for backing out. What I will do is once we get our car running, because again, doing a lot of work, once we get this car running, I'm gonna drive it for 30 minutes or so, bring it back, check them again, take the spark plug wires out, the boots out, check them again, and I'm gonna do that for some time. In fact, what I'd recommend and I'm going to do is once a month, I'm going to take those spark plug boots out and check them for torque at 17 foot-pounds. They are going to back out on you. All right, now we're gonna put the rest of the stuff back together and 
call this a good job. Put the hose on. All right, we're going to put this hose on. And you want to put your clamps back in the original position they were in, the indentations. If you remove these two brackets, they're actually to lift the engine. You want to put them back in, 14 millimeter. If you took the bracket off from over here that holds your spark plug wires, you want to put that back in. I'm going to put the spark plug wires or boots back on. So before I put them on, I like to use a little dielectric grease so that when I take them off next time, it's really easy to get them off. I just put a little bit around the match stick, that amount right there. And then in this boot, I put it right down on the metal part. Do that to each one of them. And now you want to put your spark plug wires, your boots back in. You all want to make sure the covers of these boots, the spark plugs, sit in the wells like this. Don't forget to put your spark plug wires back in their holders like that. Very important. Don't forget to put your oil fill cap back on. That's how I replace a valve cover gasket on a 1995 Toyota Camry, four-cylinder 5S FE engine. Hope it helps and happy DIY.